Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back. We're going to do a Thanos stipulation by none other than Thanos. Perfect. Um, I'm going to cancel this real quick. The object is to choose the colors before drafting, then force them. I'm going to choose blue-black. They're some of my favorite colors in the cube. And, uh... Okay. Okay, I can work with this. Blue and black are our chosen colors. Thanos, since you're here... Uh, are we able to splash other colors? Or are we just locked into blue-black? What if there's, like, no blue-black card in the pack? I just want to account for... Uh, let's go Phyrexian Arena. I think Phyrexian Arena is probably stronger than Force of Negation. Only blue and black if another color burn a card. Yikes. Yikes. Alright, we can do it. Artifacts that produce other colors are fine. Okay, cool. If there are no blue-black cards, you have to cut off one of Mike's eyelids. Wow. Ooh, I like a Grim Monolith here. Who's, be, who, who's passing Grim Monolith? Who is that? I'm going to take Grim Monolith. That seems like a pretty easy choice. Do lands have to match the color selector or can they have an off-color? Uh, I don't really see a point of taking off-color lands if you're, if you're literally locked into two colors, right? Um... Like, I would never take a Dragon Skull Summit, for example, because I don't want to, you know, you're not going to be playing the red cards, so. Time Warp? Let's do it. Let's do the Time Warp again. That's pretty good. I like, this pack's not super exciting. Avengers decent, Elspeth is decent. Maybe Mass Manipulation even comes back, which I'm okay with. Venser, Vraska's Contempt, Sword of Sinew and Steel. Um, the protection is nice. Disturb to one planeswalker and up an one artifact. Like, I don't feel like it's super relevant. I think Venser is fantastic, though. Well, hybrid mana costs always count as the card, right? So, like, if you have a a blue green hybrid card, it's definitely it's always a blue card. Uh, let's take Muldrifter here. Bloodline Keeper might come back. I doubt it because there's only three cards coming back. I bet Oust, Isamaru, and Garrick come back. Oust, Isamaru, and Garrick. That's my guess. Also, if you play Grim Monolith on turn two, you can play Moldrift on turn three, guys. Don't sleep on that. Uh, I'm going to go Batter Skull. I like Batter Skull. I think it's a good win condition. Liliana's Triumph also not terrible. We don't have any Liliana's. Could also take Una's Prowler or read the. Like, this pack's actually kind of, kind of tricky. Let's go converted so we can. I don't know if I want another 5 drop here, but Batter Skull is very good. Yeah, I'll take a Batter Skull. The, the problem with me taking Batter Skull here is that I know we can't get a Stoneforge Mystic. Entomb, Tassiger, Stratus Dancer. Um... I think it's probably Tasker. If not Expector, ooh, I'm, I'm I'm on board. I also like a Mana Confluence, but Force of Negation comes back for us. Wow, yes. Hex Mage is fine. Dreadwander, fine. We're just taking all the cards. What do we say? Oust, Isamaru, and Garrick.
Wow, sort of steel and sinew? Yeah, I'll definitely take that. I mean, it's playable. Pro red, pro black is no joke. Isamaru, Oust, and Woodfall Primus instead of Garrick, which I think is actually way stronger. So that's funny. I got two out of three. Wow. Two out of three of the cards I wanted came back as well. I'm going to take the Una's Prowler. It's a decent threat. It also enables some strategies. Whole lot of shaking going on. Wow, a last pick in Tomb as well? Ooh, they're setting this up. I'm going to take this Underground Sea. Uh, one of the things about the blue-black deck, or two-color decks in general, usually black-blue or black-white, uh, is that a lot of the cards have double symbols. And I think most of our cards already do. Double-black, double-black, double-blue, double-blue, double-blue. So Underground Sea is extremely relevant if we want to actually be able to cast our things. Terramander... Kite Seal Freebooter. I actually do like Sword of Feast and Famine over Steel and Sinew, but meh. Meh. It might be Freebooter. Uh, it just gives us another two drop. It's a nice piece of disruption. It doesn't look like we're Terramander territory. We only have, we literally only have Time Warp and Force of Negation so far. I guess Entomb, but Entomb is a different. I'm not sure if we're Entombing yet, so. Which color pair do you think is the least important to draft dual lands for? Uh green red probably a lot of the red cards you're going to splash uh are are single red like blood blood braid elf or hunt master uh and green also just has ways to fix your mana your manus i love wretched confluence i'm not sure if i love it more than control magic and ideally wretched confluence or gaunty come back yeah i think it's got to be control magic here Thran? I, or Yogmoth rather? I think Yogmoth is actually really, really good. Especially if you can get like a Bitter Blossom. Yeah, every time I've had Yogmoth, it's just great. Like if they go to kill your guy, you just sack it. You put a thing on one of their guys. Negate or Kira? Kira's actually a legit option. We also have Force of Negation already, so I'm not super high on this. We could take Dark Confidant, but I'm not liking it too much with 444, 555, 6. Gonti better than Control Magic? Uh, not, not, not positive. Not positive about this. This thing you say, I am not sure. Steel Hellkite? Probably better than Wake Thrasher. Steel Hellkite's also a card that's super impressive to me. It doesn't get killed by a lot of the removal in the format like uh, Bone Shredder or go for the throat or necrotol and if you connect you can usually destroy whatever permanent uh that you want to which is really powerful for decks that don't have the ability to do that massacre worm oh boy we're also recurring nightmare is great but it doesn't look like actually maybe we are a recurring nightmare deck are we a recurring nightmare deck like if we get a bitter blossom or something I mean, Venser and Muldrifter are great to get back. I mean, I'm just going to take the Recurring Nightmare because I think the upside is higher. Cavalier of Night and Hostage Taker. I, I, like the, I like the colors we picked here. This is nice. Worm does win games all the time, but I think it's I think our other options are also very good. I think it's got to be Hostage Taker. Cavalier is great, but I feel like it's just a worse Hostage Taker. Hostage Taker is easier to cast. It's cheaper, and you also don't need another creature to really get it going. Compulsive research, jeez. Also, red cap. I want to take compulsive here. Card draw is really good. Oh no, a burned pick. A burn, a burned pick. I'm gonna take this conclave tribunal. Slaughter pact. All right, we did not get the two we wanted, but that's fine. Man. I'm. Oh, I'm gonna take hex drinker. What the hell? <laughs> Doesn't matter. I don't think so.
Dark Confidant? All right, whatever. Probably not playing Dark Confidant. We have another pack left. I think our deck is looking great. I would love a creeping tar pit here. <coughs> also, bitter blossom. If we can find a bitter blossom before the end of the draft, I would be thrilled. Uh, this pack's not great for us. Spellseeker, what do you get? Literally nothing, right? Yeah, nothing. Absolutely nothing. Prismatic Lens is actually fine. It does end up slightly fixing our mana, and it's also a two-drop, which we don't have a ton of right now. Hunter's really ruining the dream here. I don't think we care about repeal that much. I think I'd rather just have the, the ramp here. What is Phyrexian Arena? Phyrexian Arena is, at the beginning of your upkeep, you draw a card and lose one life, so... Also, I do like having Batter Skull because of the Phyrexian Arena. There were definitely matches in a previous queue where we nearly lost to our own Phyrexian Arena and our own Bitter Blossom. So having some sort of incremental life gain is nice. Wow, this pack is also nice. I would take a Karn. I like Liliana the Last Hope a lot. And I think it's better than Tamio and Mana War. We're going to take the Liliana. That seems like a pretty easy pick, to be quite honest. Bells and Slockle? Uh, Riffling Cloudscape is great here. We don't need Thirst because we have Compulsive Research. We're not a reanimate deck. Daze is good too, but I think I'd just rather have another creature when we have 10 creatures, a, th a Yawgmoth, and it's a great thing to do on turn two. Yeah, that seems great. Pack Rat? Oh, Thief of Sanity? Oh, and Sheldock Isle? Oh, boy. Yeah, this is actually probably the trickiest pack so far. I think Pack Rat's third to me, you know, outside of Thief and Sheldock. Thief just seems so good. Sheldock's, Sheldock's a free spell a lot of the time. I think, oh god, Thief of Sanity is so good though. <laughs> so good. Yeah, we're thiefing. I'm sorry. I like Thief too much. Ooh, Factor Fiction. Frost Titan? Not terrible. Factor Fiction goes great with, with Tassiger. Eh, we're just gonna take Factor Fiction. <laughs> I think we did it. Dragonlord Silumgar? <clears throat> oh my god, if 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 Recurring Nightmare didn't have the sorcery restriction, oh my god, they go to kill your guy, you sack it in response. Oh my god. Oh wow. Now we have some cuts to make. We're gonna cut the Kira for now. Wow. Well, we got no other dual lands, which is unfortunate. Necromancy can hit any creature. I want to take the Necromancy here. Wow, Ashiok into Silumgar is insane. Not a great mana, but what are you going to do? Yeah, I'll take Spawn. We need one more cut. It might just be Tasker. I'm not a huge Tasker fan, but I'd rather not cut creatures here. Actually, it might be Unus Prowler. Like, we have no synergy with Unus Prowler. I guess, that, I mean, it's just a 3-1, but it can't really block very well. Like, I'm not like, going to block your 2-2 two -two flyer, because then you just discard a card and kill our guy. So, 
Sword seems fine. Oh, Hangerback Walker actually could be good with, with Yawgmoth. Let's take, let's take the Hangerback Walker, actually. I'll, I'll replace Una's Prowler with Hangerback Walker. <clears throat> and then we still need to make one cut. Uh, Sky Sovereign's decent. We don't have much removal for Planeswalkers. It might be Tassiger. Profane Command? Sure. Una's Prowler's fine with Necromancer. We don't have a ton of creatures that are that we're going to want to be reanimating, though, is the problem. Like, if we discard a Muldrifter just to Necromancy, it's not super exciting. <clears throat> okay, so... Hangerback was over here. You're not here. Riftwing is over here. So our two-drop spot looks better. Oh, we can take out the Sword of Sinew for now. Yeah, I think this is fine. We can bring in Sword of Sinew. Sword of Sinew and Steel when we, when we need it. Yeah, this seems great. 8-8. Eight, eight. Deal. I'm game. Oh, yeah. This deck seems good. I have no idea if that's true, but it feels good. I like Hangerback a lot because it, it plays really well with Yawgmoth. Like, we can actually sack the Hangerback to Yawgmoth and then sack all the tokens as well to draw, like, infinite cards. I will play first. Yeah, this hand seems great. <clears throat> this guy. Hey man, totally random question. You ever caused, you ever caused, got fed up with all those high pants, big shots down at the factory and subsequently caused a ruckus in an Applebee's? Totally hypothetical follow-up question. Could I just real quick borrow a couple thousand bucks for bail and maybe a couple thousand more for repairs? I may have gotten real hypothetical all over those carpets. Nature's a little treasure. Are you, did you push you? Are you okay, buddy? Wow, did you just... Wow. Did you just hit two lands? Okay. Well, I don't feel bad for you. I got 99 problems. Buddy, I'm going to venture this land back to your... Back to your life. Bitter Blossom. Man, Prismatic Lens doing some work here, giving us that second black mana. Second black manus. So we know they have Watery Grave in hand. This is where they go Gatekeeper of... Sure, that's basically a Gatekeeper of Malakir. Did you consider Control Magic on the Blossom? I did not consider that. That is a solid strategy, though. I actually don't... I don't want to attack here because then they just double block and this is a great deal for them.
Second black dude, 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 dude. Did you consider control magic on the opponent's life total? Man, you guys are, you guys are definitely out control magicking me here. Oh, that's nice. Is it possible they can just die to their own bitter blossom? I think it is possible. Is it likely? Nah, eh, not so much. Uh, recurring number for already she's better than Hellkite. I, I, incorrect. Hellkite has been impressive every single time I've been able to cast a Hellkite. I've consistently been impressed with Hellkite. It destroys permanents that you have no right destroying in any color combination. If I'm playing black blue, I can get rid of a bitter blossom by connecting with the Hellkite. I think saying recurring nightmare seems better than Hellkite just because it's it's just like it just seems like an opinion that people say when they actually haven't cast a Hellkite. They just look at it and they're like, well, this is just a junk rare from Mirrored and Besieged or whatever. Fascinating. So we could steal this. They have one card in hand. Steal that play Tassiger. That seems good, right? One, two, one, two, three. And I guess we're getting rid of Muldrifter here. We don't need the cards, and I'd rather get a Venser back to bounce something like a Bitter Blossom, so. <clears throat> oh, Jesus, come on. So if I steal this, can I cast it? I mean, we don't have the mana for it yet anyway. Yeah, this is pretty brutal. Grim Monolith. Mm, maybe we can now. So... You may cast that card. So we can actually go. Let's see if we. Let's see if this is correct, right? No, we. No, we need a land. We need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah, that's brutal. Yeah, we're still stealing it now because. Nope, we cannot cast it. That is sad. That's weird. Yep, we can't cast it. So now they can literally cast our hostage taker and steal their hostage taker back. Oh, that's such a bad play now. Yep, that's brutal. Chupacabra. 
Big Chups. In the middle of our street, Big Chups. Hmm. Oh, wow. If they're giving us a chance to block with... Uh... Oh, wow. That's great. I will 1,000% block this and not allow you to... Oh. Oh my god, yes. Oh god, this is so stressful. <laughs> yep. Sure. I don't think they know. Yikes for me, dog. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, we cannot cast this, which is super frustrating. That's so bad. Liliana is actually amazing against Bitter Blossom if they don't have five, five of them on board. Because now we're going to take four. Liliana's going to. We're going to take one from this, so we're going to go to two here. This is a total yikes fest. What did you hit? You hit a Thief of Sanity and two Swamps. Okay. <clears throat> really looking for a Yawgmoth here. That would be pretty nuts. But, like, Yawgmoth, even Yawgmoth's ability to put a counter on creatures costs us a life. So, yep. <laughs> Our own Ashiok. Kite Sail Freebooter. That's the start. That's the end. All right, we're just going to concede here. We got three, four, five. Yeah, there's no way to deal an extra three points of damage, unfortunately. Can we get back Venser? Bounce one. No, because then we're not killing any of them. Nope. All right. Hex Mage might be good. We saw Ashiok. I wonder if Kira Kira's good here. Kira seems good here. We're not targeting our own guys with anything. Uh, the problem is if we sack our Yogmoth, if our sack our hanger back to Yogmoth, <clears throat> uh, recurring nightmare definitely would not have done it there. <laughs> we read two life, so. I, I don't know in what world we're doing it when we have Frexian Arena that puts us to one on the very next turn. I feel like control magic is probably not at its best here. I mean, these are these are the two cards I'm looking at. It goes over here too. Tasker is probably closer to that. 
I do like sword, but we brought in Kira, did we not? Oh, Kira's another option that we can bring in. It just shuts off a lot of the removal. I don't think Grim is met in any deck. Mm. I'm gonna YOLO it. Oh, I can take a kite sail maybe? Yeah. Snap keep. Turn two hanger back is nice. Back in like 1996, I played with a guy who said you could sacrifice anything anytime you wanted, so you should have just invoked Nick's rule and sacrificed the arena. <laughs> There's that's for some reason that's like a thing that new players think. They have this impression that you can just get rid of things whenever you want. I don't want this anymore. I'm just gonna sacrifice it. And you're like, no, 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 no. It does not work like this. Is this just... Are you just going to disfigure this guy? Are you going to pay four and... Oh my god. Oh! Are they going to dismember this? They're just going to pay four on turn one and dismember this thing? That's fascinating. Wow, that is aggressive. What up, B. Fernie? God, they never don't have that, do they? Well, they never don't have that guy, do they? I guess we'll get in there. <laughs> How'd you just discard that card? He's like, I just chose to. Uh, what? Listen, buddy. Why don't you be discarding whatever you want, whenever you want? God, Ophiomancer. They're just making infinite tokens. Like, they have the, the cards. If we can go Bitter Blossom into Ophiomancer into Yawgmoth, like, it's on, that's unbelievable. Wow, oh, that's unbelievable. I'm going to steal this, though, and hopefully we get a turn where they can't do anything about it. Because I just want an Ophiomancer. All I want to do is have an Ophiomancer. What is Monsanto saying? Can you pretend you're a kid's show that my son will let me watch this? So that my son will let me watch this. Just make goofy noises. Hey guys, welcome to the Legacy Cube Draft. Oh, we're playing a Bitter Blossom. Look at all these tokens. Yeah, something like that. Okay, that's fine. I accept. This is not going to end the way you think it ends. Yeah, all right. I'm going to do a kid show. Oh, my God. Please. Why are you like this? Uh, would have liked to land here, but I'm just going to take Ophio Mansario. Get some two free points in there while we're, while we're at it.
Yeah, no. No. <sighs> so now we, it is us who have the snakeums. Every turn we can kill one of their snakes or one of their. Yeah, that's also fine. Okay, what did you get? You got a Kite Sail and a Liliana, and oh, the Liliana's always going to be good with Bitter Blossom, but... Come on. Okay. Boom, ba boom, 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 boom. And we get to draw a card. Jeez. Let's attack Ashy Boy. I mean, I, I feel like they do have... Um, hostage taker in hand they're just not able to cast it because they haven't hit their fourth land yet but uh yeah here we go fourth land hostage taker makes our life a lot more difficult they're, they're, they might just play kite sail freebooter though oh my god the men 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 song why oh god i hate you guys so much did i do it did i make the noise It's so involuntary. It just it just happens, guys. I'm sorry. It just sort of happens. Control Magic does take Ophiomancer. They have Ashiok and Liliana. We have Ashiok and Liliana. They have Hostage Taker. We have Hostage Taker. This is literally just the, the, the mirror match. Sky Sovereign might actually be better than, like, Time Warp here. Because it, it does deal with Planeswalkers. Uh, George is getting upset. Uh, I guess we're just going to submit. I think our deck is fine. Yikes. Okay. Let's keep it ship a swamp. Done. Don't be, don't be bitter blossom again. Come on. Every fucking game, seriously. You mold a five and you get turned to bitter blossom every game. I mean, I just don't think it's worth ashiocking to get rid of it. I don't know. Maybe it is. I don't know. They have three cards in hand. <laughs> I 
Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I feel like if we're not if we're not countering Bitter Blossom, we're definitely not countering Dismember. Oh, they didn't attack. That's fascinating. Doomblade? That's a weird card to keep in the deck. You want a face? All right, I'll take one. <laughs> Interesting. Languish and Fatal Push. Fatal Push. Um. Is it worth playing this? Probably not. I think it's just worth keeping up Force. I mean, we just block here. Yeah, all right. Thankfully, Rotting Registrar does not have Trample. I feel like this is hard to come back from when we're just not drawing anything good. I'm confused at what's going on here. Face, 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 seven, eight, nine, sure, all right. Come on. Seriously? <laughs> oh, we hit a gray merchant. Hex mage and lens. I mean, with Ashiok, hex mage, and gray merchant, it's a solid amount of life. You know what I just remembered and had a little chuckle over? Butt Munch. <laughs> that was a good one. Nice cards, Butt Munch. B-U-T space T-M-U-N-C-H. That was good. Well, now we're just going to block here. Take three. God, they didn't even care about. They didn't even care about Ashiok. Steel Hellkite seems decent here. So one, two, three, four, five. Gain five, deal you five. <clears throat> All right, actually not terrible. Okay. Can we survive seven more turns? That is the question. Mm -hmm. 
The problem is we have to double block with Steel Hellkite and Grey Merchant to kill this guy if we want to do that. But I think we can probably just chump with Vampire Hex Mage. Because then we have no like no flying blockers, which makes things pretty difficult. Hostage taker is a nice one. They have to block here. And Kira survives. So theoretically they could try to take down Ash. Yeah, they can't actually take down Ashiok. This is actually fine, I think. They can't even alpha, really, because of our crackback. Actually, we're doing... You can Hellkite for zero on tokens, which is why it's insane. Um, but if they block, you can't. So, Yeah, that's good. Black blue shenanigans. I like you. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have seven mana. We could hostage take our Gonti. We could take four here, but I don't think that's better than just blocking with Grey Merchant. Wow, they're going face here? What? What are you doing? I mean, considering our... Considering their life total, it might even just be fine to steal this guy. Block. Block here. Just jump. I'm not going to take seven from this guy. Gonti's done his job. He gained us five and he prevented like 7,000 damage, so. Oh, that's interesting. Does that do anything? Like, if we steal the Registrar, we just get to play the Registrar. I think we can attack with both. Like our creatures can't even be really targeted. I think we just take Reg I think we just take Registar here. I think that's the correct play. Like if they want to double block here, they're dead. So we're just going to three. Oh boy. Oh boy. How are we winning this game? I don't even know what's happening right now. Oh wait, we can oh we can we can actually get Gonti. Oh wait, I totally forgot we I thought we I, I forgot we don't pay the mana here. What is that about? What is he doing? What an idiot. Yeah, take this Gonti. Also, the fact that we have Kira right now is pretty insane. One, two, three, four. Ophiomancer. Oh, wow. We're doing it. Oh, this game just ended. <laughs> That's insane with Yawgmoth. Oh, boy. And they can't target our things because of Kira. And they still have to discard their card. So they only get one card in hand. So they can literally never kill uh, any of our creatures because of the, the Kira. Wow. This is 
bonkers. Look at all these negative upkeep effects they have. Oh, they guess the, yeah, they have the Gonti card, sure, but. The cause of and solution to all of life's problems. Well, he is a lord of luxury. Fly to the moon. Do -do 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 -do. Also, next time we just play Yogmoth, sack a snake. Sack Gonti, kill them. Like, we can just literally play Yogmoth, sack three creatures, kill all their flyers, and kill them with Steel Hellkite plus Kira. They have no cards in hand, so the only card they have is, like, probably Dragonlord Silumgar. <laughs> so. See, this is why you don't counter the turn two Bitter Blossom Tano's, because you just block. You're just like, I'll just block it. I don't even care. Uh, I'll block this guy with a snake. Oh, man. I just want to tell him good games. Can I just say, can you just bring me over here so I can say good games? Can you finish loading Magic Online? My third blue black mirror in this cube. Yikes. Man, do we get to see what the card was? Show me what the card was. I bet we can find it if it was Dragonlord Silumgar. We can just go through the rest of our deck. This is the high quality content you guys pay for. Frank, go through the rest of your deck so that. You can figure out what the card was. Once I see Dragonlord Silumgar, I'm done. Okay, we found it. It was not Dragonlord Silumgar, and I do not care to decipher what the rest was. Whew! That was a match. That was a hell of a match. Oh my god. Oof. Oh, God. I'm basically dead. God, you living that commodious life. <laughs> oh, Jesus. God. Hostage Taker into Gonti into uh, Ophiomancer was definitely serious MVPs. I'm going to keep this hand. This has all the mana I like. Would you say it has everything Father likes? Um, I wouldn't say it has everything Father likes, but I would say Father likes everything that it has. Cube, cube, cube. I also love cube. Well, take whatever you like, I guess. So young, so young, log. <laughs> so young, log. So long, yog. You guys know what I'm saying. Can I get a can I get a Liliana please? Can I get a one time Liliana? That guy's good. 
I want to steal it, but that guy's fine. So next turn we can go Time Warp into just Dragonlord Silumgar if we hit one more land. So. What should I grab for Disney? <laughs> uh, uh. Yeah, the deck looks great. Ugh, biscuits. I don't want to run the risk of just playing this for no value. Let's go Arena, because it actually makes Time Warp much, much better, because you're getting two activations. And also, if we get one more land, we can hang our back walker. Twice. Dude, the sun, do you got the sunblock stuff? I don't have any sunblock, actually. I don't go outdoors nearly enough to have sunblock, to be honest with you. What What is this, elf? Human shaman? Okay, that's fine. It's stupid, but you're fine. Dummy. This hangerback walker is getting real sizable. Alright, so now we're going to hit a land. At least one land, right? Well, biscuits. Okay, we time warp here. We probably have to hit a land, right? What about the thingy to hold water? <laughs> oh, Sammy, I love how I love how ridiculous you sound. You're like, what about that water thing? Any, anything? You got those? Every other creature dies, you get an experience kind of thing. You end up choose her creature card. Agree. Oh God, it starts so good. I want to steal this, but this guy gets out of hand. So it's like, well, yeah, you know, there's a lot of things happening right now. All we needed was one land. That's all I wanted. Hold on. Once. I can just batter skull. Batter skull gives us a lot of attacks, though. I'll just play batter skull here. Maybe attack for four. Like, they block here. They get this guy back. Is it the end? At your end step? They make a vampire. If they want like quadruple block, I'm fine with that. English is hard, so I try to sound as dumb as possible. So you, oh, dang it. Well, to be fair, what you're saying is funny. So, All right, this can only be four vampires. If they cast a vampire, and then they make a vampire, and then they pay a black to flip this guy, I'd be very impressed. Jeez, my kingdom for a languish right now. Pump this guy, play languish. Jeez. Okay. Okay. Uh, what's my favorite Wes Anderson movie? It's definitely Rushmore. Uh, I think Royal Tenenbaums is in my top three. It might be my second favorite. Although I just saw the uh, the Grand Budapest very recently, and I absolutely loved it. Fly me to the moon. Do 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 do. Yeah, we're taking this guy. I don't care if you get back like your two drops and stuff. Yeah, make vampire, sure. You got it, dude. All 
Uh, I'll just attack with these guys again. Next thing maybe we can go Liliana and Muldrifter. It seems good. They have no cards in hand? Oh, that's great news. Wait, you're gonna give us our Oh, you're gonna get it back. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's real good. That's very nice. Oh, you have two experience counters. That's so funny because it's got the commander logo next to it. We're back at 19, which is nice. They're at seven. I feel like we're in good shape here. What do I know? Oh, Jesus. That's nice because that was their play for the turn, so we can do whatever we want, basically. Can't we just play Thran, sack this and all the zombies to get rid of this guy? And then just, like, kill them almost? Oh, they get this for free. Oh, that's stupid. Never mind. You guys are... You guys are right. You guys are correct. We can still play Thran and Liliana on the same turn, so... Yeah, that's fine. You got it. Draw an extra card. Take an extra life. Doing the things with the cards and the life. Do -do 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 -do. Let's play Lily. Big Lils, as uh, I like to call her. Can I? Can we, can we Lil here? Kill this guy. Play ya boy. It's ya boy. Put a counter on this dude. Sack this guy to... Alright, hold on. Sack it. Choose up to one target. You. Sack this guy. Pow. Okay. Okay, we're doing it. Did we play land this turn? We did. Um, put a counter on. Oh, uh, you. Sack this guy. So what are we doing? We're sacking all four of these, getting rid of these four. We're attacking for six in the air. And then like we get to blocks. So we're going to 12. We're losing a lot of cards here, though. How about a Lily Ultimate? I would love that. The problem is... They have no cards in hand? Yeah, this is fine. Yeah, I don't care about this. We can easily get rid of Compulsive Research and Mole Drifter at this point. Tassiger seems good. We only need one land. Perfect. Beautiful. We have seven cards. They have one. And we have two lethal threats in the air. Seems good. I mean, they have six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen damage. We need one blocker for this guy. Yep. So they can't get, like, Crater Hoof. Thrag Tusk? Their own Yawgmoth. Uh, they can't even activate it, though, because they are at one life. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. Hmm. Hmm. And that's game. <laughs> Good to know. Good to know. You had my curiosity. Now you have my attention. I would have activated it. I would have been like, go out on my own terms. Actually, I probably wouldn't have. I would have just forgotten to do it. So...
Slaughter Pact, like most of our creatures that we care about are black. I don't know. I think we're actually just fine. Most of our creatures being black, sort of steel and sinew is not terrible. A force of negation. We didn't see a ton of things relevant to force of negation. Yeah, I don't want to bring a cure here just because if we bring in the sword, like I don't want to have a hard time equipping it, so. Yeah, this is fine. Turn two hanger back, turn three sword. We've already seen the power of Dragonlord Solomgar. Oh, turn oh. 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 I actually think the mm, hanger back is better here. We don't really have anything that we're super excited to be ramping into. You just gonna first you just gonna instantly kill this thing? God, people hate hanger back walker. <laughs> oh jeez, look at that. Holy smokes. Oh now we're definitely playing that. All right, I feel like we're way ahead right now. This is round two, right? Yeah, we crushed that game one. So next turn we can actually go land, Grim Monolith, and Sword Equip, which is pretty good. Well, now I'm more interested in just... Hmm, it's fascinating. Destroy of Togo Planeswalker and one artifact. You have neither of those things. Although we could just attack, attack, attack. Putting putting the sword on this guy seems very, very good. Yeah, I just want to have the sword on board. I don't want to waste this much mana. Plus, they're not going to be attacking with Bloodline Keeper next turn, so... Uh, it does not force you, and it's also, uh, it's up to. It's up to one artifact and one planeswalker. That would be terrible design if they forced you to destroy your own sword. Yeah, for a mythic, you never want to have that on your card. I will choose none. This also prevents them from just, like, playing planeswalkers or, you know, certain planeswalkers or certain artifacts. You might say we're getting any with this guy. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. That's your turn, though, man. I'm drawing two cards a turn, and you're ramping me over here? Get out of town. What causes you to be this way? So we've seen Heroes Downfall and Assassin's Trophy. What are the odds they have one more? removal spell well we can't get any with this with this thopter anymore well if they just if they just wasted like assassin's trophy and downfall and didn't have another piece of removal there I feel like they really blowied it but I guess they always have it so yeah, Bloodline Keeper is a card we really want to be able to deal with. Oh, we can just Lily on it back. Oh, God, that's really good. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7. I mean, my problem is them getting Bloodline Keepers out of control. That is... Thief of Sanity. I like Thief and Liliana here. 
That's pretty good. Seems fine, I guess. <sighs> so next turn we're gonna Silumgar and Time Warp and then replay it. Okay, okay, we're doing it. Yeah, that's fine. I'm not gonna sacrifice the thief or trade with a Thopter here. Liliana can go to two without real any real consequence. So we can go negative U. It doesn't really do much. One, two, three. Ashiok. Take an extra turn. Plus Ashiok. Got a brain maggot? Good times. Well, let's not attack here. How's that sound? Well, there's a lot of nothing. A lot of nothing that's happening right now. Do we just brain maggot them? I think the answer is yes. Grave Titan? Deal. Oops. Mill two. Once more with feeling for the third time. Stop activating in a response. God. Uh, play this. And we'll pass. Two Planeswalkers, Dragonlord Salamgar. We know you have a land in hand, a forest. So top decks. See how good they are. That's fine. It's no Bloodline Keeper. Personally, I probably would have went, uh, killed Lily out of there, but... What can you do? I'm going to draw two cards again. Drawing two cards every turn? Jeez, man. How do you even... How do you even exist? Can neg one of these guys so we can actually attack with the Dragon Lord, but... Ooh, we hit a tireless tracker that's nice it's almost like drawing cards is one of the best things but yeah it's i've lost games that i could have won because i wanted to draw cards instead i'm really not afraid of any kind of sweeper so i'm just going to overload the board here like a maniac like an absolute maniac i think we're gonna go to round three here That's the forest. I mean, I guess they could just kill us in 11 turns by Phyrexian Arena. Oh, they have no cards in hand, so I think they're just going to escape here. Oh, no, they didn't. All right. 
Well, that's a good one. Uh, I don't care about Tireless Tracker at this juncture. I don't think we need cards. Oh, Marin and Hornet Queen? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That's a spicy meat ball. How many vampires do we have? Two? That's not exciting. Alright, well. What? I am offended. <laughs> Uh, buddy, I know it. Buddy, I know it. I guess I should have done that. No, we couldn't have done that post because then they just triple block one of these two, which is terrible. So we literally had to had to put that on one of them. One, two, three. Let's compulsive research. That's really something. That's just amazing. Just incredible. <laughs> Draw three lands. I'll discard a land. Thank you. If they go living death, it's kind of awkward. I wish we had a way to sacrifice our creatures. No, they get back nothing if they went living death. We get back a Vencer and a Hangerback Walker for zero. That's good. That's really good. It's not good at all. It's literally terrible. Okay, get another one of these. Untap this guy. There's lots of things happening right now. Okay, well we're not gonna factor fiction because we're at eight we're at eight cards, so can you feel the love tonight? Tonight. Oh, they actually have living death. Wow, that's hilarious. I didn't even notice that. I was just joking. Or we just we just kill them. Like we can just steal this. They have no cards, yeah, we'll just kill them. And get back Vencer. Okay. Float, 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 float. Everybody's floating. Oh god. Negative 11. Got him. Got him! with this deck. I'm enjoying it. I'm having a good time. Taunus, you, you did a good one, buddy. This is a solid choice, my friend. Moan friendo. Eh. I don't hate it. I don't love it. Face <laughs> first draft deck is going well. I'll keep this. Yeah, the We All Float Down Here is from It. The Stephen King movie, It. Based on the book of a similar name. Yeah, the stipulation was that I had to win, so I'm doing well. Jameson Locke, good games, good games. That Bloodline Keeper is a heck of a card. Bloodline Keeper is another card that I feel like people just totally sleep on. Can they stop posting Amber Alerts to my phone? It's really inconvenient. Wow, you got it real rough, buddy. I'm so sorry that you have to be notified to that. That's the that's like that's the fantastic privilege right there. Yes, Bitter Blossom and uh, Bloodline Keeper are also are both fantastic foods for for your boy. All right, well, we're not just gonna throw we're not just gonna throw Maldrifter away here. We have to discard. 
There's no point. We have plenty of things to do. Unfortunately, not, not before turn four. But once you get there, we're doing all right. <laughs> My phone starts going off. No way to stop everything and look for a car. No, I don't think they're telling you to stop everything and look for a car. I think they're just saying like, hey, if you're on the road, keep an eye out for this specific car. I don't think they want it to be your primary your primary area of focus. I think they're just saying, hey, tangentially, if you can if you can spare the the brain power, you know, do the thing. I'm always I'm always playing Venser during my main phase because I want to be bouncing lands. Like now specifically, I want to be bouncing this creeping tarpet. We can also just counter what they play next turn, which would have been very good too. I don't know. Sometimes I just like doing stuff, you know. We all float down here. It's from an Australian version of Up. The <laughs> in in Australia, it's called Down. God, I hate that my I hate that my mobile telephone keeps getting notification that kids are missing and in danger. I got things to do, kid. Missing kids. Find, go find yourself. How about that? Did they kill one of my lands with a Vindicate? What an absolute maniac. I just got done losing hard playing five color ship piles in M19 draft. It's just so tempting when you're drafting team elementals and you see an iron root warlords and moldervine. So the thing about M19, M, you mean M20. The thing about M20 draft is that uh, the whole format is basically ship piles. Whether it's five color ship piles or two color ship piles, it's all ship piles. Let's go land. We can get rid of a, an island. You gotta use Twitter as a way to have conversations with people that you love in a public way so that other people that you love can join in. I do that. I feel like I do that enough on Facebook, right? I mean, at least on Facebook, I can control the the conversation on my own my own page. I have some control over it. Like one of my biggest problems about Twitter is that like I'll post something, or someone will post something, and there's literally I have no control over if someone's main goal is just to come on there and shit talk or, you know, just be negative. Like if you're just gonna be negative, like, okay. Well, I make my posts public on Facebook so people can chime in if they want to. Like they're more than welcome to tune in. And you're more than welcome to follow me on Facebook, just like you can follow me on Twitter. Yeah, you can block them on Twitter, but that still doesn't change, like, the fact... Like, that just means I don't see it. Other people can still see the things. You know, I don't know. I just don't, like, I just don't get enjoyment. I go on Twitter and I just get anxious. I just feel my anxiety rising. Oh my god, they're just killing all my things, but like not in any kind of impressive way. They just like vindicates on one land, they're bone shreddering my tutus, like I don't know what's going on here, but I feel like I feel weird. I feel weird. So we can Tassiger and we can like we can Tassiger and keep up Force of Negation. That seems kind of good. Thank you. Oh my God, Admiral Akbar, fifty-one months. And currently on a 42-month streak. What happened to those nine months, buddy? What's the matter? You couldn't keep it up? Unbelievable. Pr 
pregnant. <laughs> weird question to ask. What happened? Wait, was was that a weird question to ask? It was while you were in Seattle, not to... Oh, well, that makes sense. That does make sense. I was totally just joking. Did you guys think I was serious? Like, I didn't want that to come across as, like, a, some kind of, kind of serious question. Like, I was really grilling him. I just know Alan. Like, Alan's a buddy, so I was just giving him a hard time. Now I feel bad. Did I say nine? Yeah, nine, right? Pregnant. <laughs> Sorry, that was the month I was pregnant. <laughs> Even in the asking questions why they can't get out of his way. Not, no, but not if I know the guy. Not if I'm, like, actual friends with the guy. Like, I could say that to you, Chris. I wouldn't I wouldn't ask that about just a random person I didn't know. But if you're subscribing for 51 months, like, that's, like, five years almost. You couldn't ask. I could definitely ask it to you. And I will if you don't watch yourself. Because, you know, <laughs> Dear God, why? Okay, I'm just trying to figure out what to do here. Oh god, my inactivity time remaining. I don't want to bounce either of these. I don't care about bouncing this. Erection jokes, am I right? hey -o! I want to keep up this. I think we just actually just played Tassiger here. I don't love it, but... What are you going to do? This seems fine. Let's see if you want to pay for this. I doubt it. I went on a date with a guy whose cat name was Admiral Akbar. I was so close to marrying him, but he was pretty shitty in general, so I debated instead on stealing his cat. I mean, that's the next alternative, I think. If you're like, well, you're kind of a shitty dude, I guess I'll just take your cat. I can get behind that. Oh, wow. This feels like desperation. What are their seven cards if they're like, I want to block with this Solemn Simul- I, I just want to get this Solemn Simulacrum out of the way so I can draw a card. I mean, unless you have, like, three mana burn spell, but then we just force of negation then, I guess. I don't know. Uh, Flame Tongue. Okay, that's fine. Well, that's awkward. Where'd my lands go? Remember, like, remember the time I had lands, guys? You guys remember my lands? Let's get this thing out of here. Just keep replaying that. If you don't resubscribe, then you'll die in seven days because Grudge Frank is coming to get you. That sounds accurate. I don't, I don't feel like that's incorrect. Okay, well. Yeah. That seems good. I'm just going to go to the next game. Apparently, five color good stuff is where it's at. Uh, excuse me, Frank. They don't have the uh, five colors of Magic the Gathering. They're missing the green component of all five of the magical colors. Thank you very much. Okay. Well, that's a good point. I had not considered that, dear viewer. Okay. So. Look how many things we have to do on turn three, and we didn't draw any of them. Thief, Sanity, Ashiok, Frexing Arena, Liliana, Hypnotic Spectre. Even Compulsive Research, Riffling Cloud Skid, Hangerback Walker, Persona Cleanse, Grimala, Like, how many cards is this? Like, Force of Negation is the only card I wouldn't even, like... We have 11 cards in our deck that we could have played before turn 4, and we drew none of them. Oh, uh, it didn't. They named Red with it, buddy. Okay, Land Seahorse. God, you're always like this. I can't deal with you when you're like this. I don't think I want any of these other cards in here. Sitting and Steel might not be bad. I don't know if it's great though. I, I don't know what's going on. You could have played Silumgar? Uh I don't think so. I didn't have I didn't have six man. Oh, we could have because we had um Yeah, sure, that's fine. But I don't I still don't think that's great. <laughs> you could have just played better. Wow. Wow. What a monster. Oh, that yo, yeah, I I read Lancey were saying, but does he have Mulder Vaughn Reclamation? Oh, my bad. Sorry, I Bob. Still made, still didn't make green. It made red eye, Bob. Okay. 
Oh man, what was that? What was what? Are you drunk? The hesitation? Was there hesitation? I don't know what's going on. Also, maybe. Well, all right then. There you go. Ooh, charter course. I'm getting rid of that blood gas, huh? Let's thief of sanity. See what happens. Tonos, have a good night, buddy. Thank you so much for the for the the stipulation and uh, for picking a good one. Hopefully, I'll see you soon, man. Thank you for everything, dude. I really appreciate you. Don't kill this. Just come on. Let me get one connect. One connect. One connect. You can't bone shredder it. You can't flame tongue kavu it. You can't vindicate it right now. Yeah, I don't care about that. I do not care about this. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Lord. Damn, boy, he's thick. Boy, that's a thick ass boy. Damn. Well, it's not thirst for knowledge. It's one of these two. It might be Nicobolus. I think it's Nicobolus. Wow, that is bonkers I'm pretty sure we just play Hangerback Walker here and then next turn we just cast Nicobolus with a really solid blocker wow jeez Thief of Sanity you are no joke my dude I'll take two what in the earth oh I see Oh, I see. Steel Hellkite, you're good too. Yeah, they're both super strong. I don't think you can go wrong with either one. Um. Okay, so I, I'm actually tempted to play Grimaldo here because you don't need the mana, really. Especially with the card advantage Nicobolus is going to provide. So... Uh, you can't steal. This is not the Nicol Bolas that steals. Oh, with Dragonlord Selimgar, you mean? Yeah, that's actually better. I like that a lot. Two thieves are better than one. Yeah, because then we get another hit off this guy, and we have way more blockers now. Well, I'll just take the Creeping Tarpet. That was unfortunate. Unfortunately, our first one was too good, and our second one was not as good. Okay. Dang, they didn't even get to we didn't even get to play their own Nicol Bolas. Okay, so I guess we're just gonna run it back. I think I like the sword though. I don't dislike I don't dislike it. Force of negation seems unreal in this matchup. So does actually I kinda like Kira here. They have a bunch of things to target. Kira just seems like a great option. Control magic can probably go. They didn't seem to have like a ton of things. All right, let's just do Kira. Kira is basically like the sword, right? Protection, like they just have to target everything twice. Uh, keep. All right, let's do it. What are you doing, cat? Rubbing your face on things? Typical. Big Grims. 
sure monolith is a hell of a drug. This is where they go, Thief of Sanity. Oh, that's fine. I kind of like I kind of like Arena here. I do like Steel Hellkite though. If they don't have an answer for this, we just get to to nug them. I think that's actually better. Little man, get on stream. Little man, don't get on stream. Do your bit. Keep doing. Keep doing your side hustle, little man. All right, I think this is dead. Yeah, I figured they were going to vindicate that, which is fine. Sammy, I'll see you later, buddy. Have a good night, man. Yeah, someone earlier said, I don't think this is a Grim Monolith deck, and I'm like, every deck is a Grim Monolith deck. <laughs> I do not think you've cast a Grim Monolith before. Oh, that's nice. Hey, that's pretty good. Okay, stop it. You're being ridiculous. Let's bounce this one. I'll take two. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna get rid of my Roofwing Cloud Skate so easily. All right, sure, you got it. They only have four cards, and we have Frexian Arena and Factor Fiction. They have three cards. Okay, well that's a lot of cards. I guess it's two, right? They discard two cards, so they only net two. So they went down to two. So they, they still have four cards. Might have been worth forcing that. Eh, actually. No, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. who knows? I mean, factor fiction is very good. Time warp is pretty good. So you had a bad day. Turn yourself around. I think we're actually just going to play hanger back for three and uh, keep up force of negation. Because it actually keeps Solemn Simulacrum at bay. And, uh... <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Mike's now stuck in my head. Uh, it's been stuck in my head for like. A year. Yeah, this is fine. Bounce that. I don't care. Yikes. That's pretty bad. That's terrible. Oh, God. That's just brutal. Yeah, now I want to hold back. Main phase. This guy. Wow, Glow and Drush Range is such a beating. Fire on that guy. Sure. Oh, God, this card is bonkers. Why? Force of negation, why? This is, now they're getting aggressive here. They're going to deal five. Yikes. Not a fan. Not a fan. Oh, 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, you had a baby shark. Do 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 do. Grandpa shark. Do 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 do. You had a baby shark. Oh, oh, oh! That was a good draw. That was a solid draw, ski. mind so we basically take one on our turn go to six they attack us for five and that's the end unfortunately pact of negation seems amazing either way thank you guys i think that's the end right it's game three yep all right thank you guys for watching really appreciate it slam those like and subscribe buttons do the things go to coolstuffinc.com leave a comment on the article that i wrote last week uh it's about modern cards uh, unexpected cards from modern horizons that are doing really well and uh leave a comment in the article i really appreciate it it looks good helps me out it's it's nice way to you to engage we can have a good time go to manatraders.com check out their subscription services you get 20 percent off the first three months of any subscription with the promo code and the link in the description below so be sure to check those out as well and uh slam those like and subscribe buttons i'll see you guys next time thanks to tonos for the the stipulation it went pretty well i appreciate it i'll see you guys later thanks for watching